Hey, what's up guys? You're watching Theojo Tech. In this video, I'm gonna go over something called a Warrant Canary. If you haven't heard about these before, well, that's what this video is for. I'm gonna go over what they are, what they're used for, and hopefully you'll find it pretty interesting. So first of all, as a little bit of background, in the United States, certain government agencies like the NSA can issue secret requests and warrants to websites that may request a single person's data, the entire database, you don't really know, and then also issue a gag order with that request so the website or company can't even tell its users and customers that it got that request and had to give up personal information. But companies may still want to be able to let users know that this request happened, so how can they do that legally without facing severe punishment? This is where you would use a so-called warrant canary which is a term for some wording in a document or terms of service or something that basically tells users, we have never received a secret request from the government. And that would just be publicly visible somewhere so people can know, oh, they never got one. However, if they do get a request, they can take down that wording, erase it, so people would know, wait a minute, that wording isn't there anymore, they must have gotten a secret request. So it's a way for companies to not say that they got the request, but instead not say that they didn't get one. And if this sounds like it's really bending the rules, it is. I don't think this has ever been tested in court. It's really treading a fine line. And I'm sure if it ever went to court, a judge would probably look at that and say, yeah, you know what you're doing. That constitutes a violation of the gag order, possibly. And if you're wondering where the term warrant canary came from, a canary is a bird that miners used to take down into the mines, kind of like an early warning system, because if toxic fumes were being emitted from the mine, they would affect the bird first before the miners would notice. So it would kill the bird, and if the bird died, they say, oh, we gotta get out of here, something's wrong. So it's kind of like the same thing. If the bird dies, that means something happened. Recently, reddit.com actually took out their warrant canary from their transparency report meaning that they most likely got one of these secret requests in the last year. They're not allowed to ever talk about it, so there's no way to know how much information, maybe a single person or millions, or even if there was more than one request. They just don't know. We only know that it did happen. And this only works once. You can't put it back in. You can't get too specific, or else that could really get you in hot water with the government. For example, you can't just say, we didn't receive a request on the 3rd of March 2016, and then take it down and put a new one back up for the 4th. That would be really bad and probably get taken to court for that. And you might be thinking, okay, what do I do with this information? If a website I'm using has its warrant canary taken down, it means they got a secret request, what am I supposed to do? Well, the answer is nothing. I mean, you just really have to be more cautious with your information going forward because this type of stuff does happen and companies cannot talk about it. It's probably just safest to assume that anything you say online is permanent, is gonna be recorded. So don't post anything incriminating ever, obviously, and just be careful, be really private, don't post super sensitive information, and you should be good, because there's not much else you can do. If the government wants some information, they're probably gonna get it. But I guess there's not much else to say, so I hope you guys found this video interesting. If you've got some ideas, we can talk about it more down in the comments section. If you thought this video was interesting, be sure to give it a thumbs up so I know you liked it. If you want to continue watching, I've got some other videos on the right-hand side. You can just click those or look in the description for the same link like if you're on a phone and if you want to subscribe i make new videos monday wednesday friday so i think you'll enjoy that looking forward to hearing from you guys either here on youtube or on twitter so thanks for watching i will see you next time have a good one